If a dog really is a man's best friend, a dairy farmer from the Australian state of Victoria probably has a tail to beat them all. Brian McLaren farewelled his dog, Maggie, this week. But what makes this story special is that Maggie, a Kelpie, was 30 years old and is thought to be, although this isn't verified, the world's oldest dog. By our cal calculations, in dog years, she's 133, but mathematicians feel free to contradict us. I asked Brian from his dairy farm in Woolsthorpe about Maggie's legacy. Uh, we got Maggie, uh, we reckon when, we got three sons and two of them were at school and their youngest wasn't, and he'll be 34 n next month. Wow. So he would have to be three or four in that era. So she could be like 29, 30 or even a little older, I don't know. You know but it started out as a, as a bit of a joke at work. We got a windmill 700 cows and in the office one morning they wanted her in the Guinness Book of Records and that's how it started. And so you got so you got Maggie as a puppy. She was just a few weeks old, was she? Yeah, she was about uh, ten or twelve weeks old when we got her, uh, and she's lived on farm ever since. The same farm, her entire life on the same farm. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And we moved off farm sixteen years ago, and I took a well, we had to travel about twenty fifteen k's to go home, and I took her home the first night, and she barked all night. Wanted didn't like it, so I left her on the farm. And so you, you'd see her every day or most days. I oh, know I'm at work every day and I feed her every morning at 5.30 and uh, she's there waiting for her food and it, it changed over the years of course because initially she was on the pallets and whatever and then over the last probably 12 months she's been on the soft food and, and then... I'd feed her and she'd stand over it with her food between her feet and bark at the cats that would come trying to get it off her. <laughs> she, she, she wouldn't eat it for 10 minutes, she'd just have a fight with the cats for 10 minutes first. And the same with her milk. You know, you'd pour, her, fill up a bowl with milk, and she'd do the same thing with it. So she is. She was totally part of the family. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. But not not pampered or anything like that. We was. She would come with me on the back of the bike, and in the mornings, I'd, I'd have to go and get the cows in in the dark, and she would disappear, and she'd arrive. You know, and maybe a K from the dairy, she'd arrive at the back of the paddock just in the dark. Hated riding on the motorbike. She, She'd get off the motorbike and run. And then she'd disappear. And then she'd arrive at the back of the cows. In. She's just a terrific dog. That's lonely old work doing that stuff in the dark. So she was your mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just, uh, she, not a day had passed that she didn't come for a pat. And as she got older, just in the last probably 12 months, she wouldn't, wouldn't come and rush up to She'd come and bump me on the leg you know, with her head and want to scratch because you know, she... She got that way that she couldn't scratch behind her own ears and things like that. So she just she come and bump me if I <laughs> happened to be doing cups off or something. So we got a bit of time, and in a rotary dairy, she would just crash into me. I want to scratch. And so and so you'd do it, of course. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> away she'd go again, you know. Yeah. yeah. And so did you just what happened? You just turned up and and, and she'd gone. Had she? She'd just drifted off during the night. Yeah. On on Friday, my worst fear is that what I would have to have her put down because of her age, you know, and she'd just get too far gone, but that didn't happen. Uh, Friday, she was a bit off the pace and uh, didn't want to eat all her food. And when I went home, I said to my wife, uh, Maggie, it's not long now. And then Saturday, she ate even less. And Sunday morning, she didn't eat at all. And now I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a vet job. What am I going to do here? And then uh, Monday morning, I came to work a bit early. I checked her at 5 o'clock, and she was in a basket, tucked up where I left her. Sunday night, and she had died peacefully, yeah, which is perfect for the way I wanted her to go. Yeah. yeah. So she looked after you at the end, eh? She, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, we, were, we spent it most of our day together. Yeah. yeah. She, didn't, she didn't ride in the tractor or anything, but she was always at the office door. <laughs> it's, you know, that, so. Brian, this story's gone totally worldwide, and it's got... And yeah, it's, I, it's because, you know, people love their dogs. And to have a dog for yeah. 30 years is, is really special, isn't it? it? It is, yeah. I missed her yesterday. I, my wife, Sue, said to me, you're going to miss her. I said, no, no, she'll be right. And I, I missed her yesterday. I was sitting at, in front of the office where she normally comes with a pat. Uh, and she never fronted the course. And I thought, oh, my old dog, she's gone. Bugger. <laughs> but, you know, you move on. The, the story started out as not, not trying to get her recorded as the oldest dog or anything like that. Just, they've got a back paddock page in the Weekly Times over here, which they take the mickey out of everybody. And I rang the Weekly Times instead of trying to 
find when she was actually born and just said, uh, I was going to put a caption in and a photo uh, on 30 beat that. But they ran a full fake story on <laughs> back in November. <laughs> and, and, and now you're doing an interview in New Zealand and the story's just travelled, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Just, oh. um, sometimes you can be lucky with a pet or, or a dog, you know. But uh, she was a really good dog. And I look, I've had good dogs that have died before her, you know. Um, it would only last, you know. I'm in mean, the tank. I've got one of them, as they do. Um, but, uh, you know, you get a dog to maybe go 10 or 12 years if you're lucky. And, and then only work for eight of those 10. 10 but uh, she has been terrific, you know. So, so yeah, very fortunate. Yeah. I, I don't, I, are you going to get another one? Because obviously you, it's a working farm and you need a working dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. got a hundred cow farm. Um, but, well, I can do without a dog and I don't think I'll replace her. I think I'm done and dusted with that. And we can do without a dog because she hasn't worked for probably 10, over 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> she's, yeah. been an, she's been an old age pensioner, eh? Retired. She has, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's, had a, yeah, she's been doing it really. Brian McLaren, who was 